rabbit on, let's get the lovely Kate out. Kate Smurthwaite, is that right? Lovely Kate. Round of applause, please. Kate Smurthwaite. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Oh, they speak and everything. How lovely. Isn't that nice? <laughs> um, so, I, so my show is sort of topical and it's all about newsy stuff, but I'll just tell you, this is my favourite thing I've seen in Edinburgh. I went to Sainsbury's, and are you familiar with the, um, the self-service checkout? Yeah, we've given that a go. You know that bit where it says, have you swiped your nectar card? Right, there was a bloke next to me and he just went, yes. <laughs> and when it didn't respond, he went, yes, I have. <laughs> And uh, bless him, because when you do comedy, people always ask you if it's like your dream job, if it's what you've always wanted to do. And I've had this idea recently that there's another job that would be really, really fun. I think it'd be brilliant to be a secretary in an advertising company. And you're looking at me like we don't know what you mean. But just because you could be sat in the corner of that room where they have that meeting where they go, do you know what, Jeremy? We've got a lot of cider to sell. I've got a great idea, Nigel. Let's get a man with bees on his face. <laughs> Because that meeting has happened, because uh, that advert exists. And there's a, r- a bit of a rule in comedy, sort of unwritten rule, that, that, uh, that female comics write, you're not supposed to talk about periods because it's disgusting. Um, and I just think, well, rules are for breaking, aren't they? And, um, uh, and, and uh, the, the advert that annoys me the most, do you know the, the, the Tampax advert for Pearl, where there's a trendy woman and, and she's doing the dancing, and then Mother Nature shows up. And Mother Nature's a little bit wrinkly and menopausal looking, isn't she? And she's got quite a horrible voice. And she says, you've got to stop dancing. It's your period. But then our trendy, our hero, she won't have it. She says, actually, I can keep dancing. I've got pearl. She gets out this tampon, doesn't she? And then Mother Nature goes, where? Right. There's an answer to that question, isn't there? So, yeah, so that's sort of what I do. So I do, I do some political stuff, I do some activism. One of my favourite things last year, um, I went on the anti-Pope march. Give me, a, give me a cheer or a groan. How do we feel about the Pope's visit to Britain? Oh. oh, quite a lot of groaning. I went on the anti-Pope march. I took my megaphone. Um, yet yeah, all those years that my mother spent on piano lessons for me, like your lovely first guest, and it turns out my natural instrument is the megaphone. <laughs> This is true, I was walking through Parliament Square with my megaphone and there was a police officer who said, excuse me madam, could you tell me why you're carrying a megaphone in Parliament Square? And I said, yeah, my iPhone's broken. (laughs) And he just nodded and I just kept walking like, that made sense. So I ended up at the front of the anti-Pope march with my megaphone and there were some women's groups. So I was shouting, uh, get your rosaries off my ovaries. That went quite well, so I did uh, Hands Off My Eggs, Benedict. (laughs) (laughs) And this is just for those of you old enough to remember Pink Floyd. We did a sort of Pink Floyd tribute number that went, We don't need faith education, but the world needs birth control. Hey, preacher. Yeah. I'll just let you all finish that in your own time. <laughs> right, Grant, thank you very much. Darling, come and sit down. <laughs> and now, Kate, you're not just a stand up comedian, are you? You are a head writer with um, uh, Comedy Manifesto and Network and other things. Yeah. Um, you've written columns for The Guardian and for Cosmopolitan. Yeah, all sorts of things. So like, many it's all one continuum. Bone. Yeah, I don't really see it as like I'm a writer and then I'm a comedian separately because I write funny stuff. I think that's one of the reasons why some of the newspapers would rather have a piece from me because I'm not going to be all statistics and stodgy. I'm going to put a bit of humour into it and make it sort of readable. And I do. That's why I do lots of um, five live interviews. They sort. They sort. The BBC like to get me on basically to argue with idiots. <laughs> Like, about once a week, they just ring me up and go, oh, is that Kate? Yeah, we've, we've got a racist in the studio. Would you like to shout at him? And I go, yeah, I would, yeah. I'd Are they that casual, in. what they say? Are they <laughs> pretty much, Do they pretty yeah. much kind of go, we've got a BNP member? They sort of go, yeah, he's, he's the UKIP MET, MEP for equalities. He's horrible. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> now, you supported... Now, 
I didn't know how to pronounce this name, but you're... Shazia Mirza. It's Shazia Mirza. A lovely Shazia Mirza. Oh, she's and she's, she, hopefully she's going to come on later on in the in our show. Lovely. Because you're going to love Shazia, Shazia mm. Mirza. And, yeah. but, but you've been all around the, the country? With yeah, you? so I've been Shazia's support act this year on her tour. And I have to say, it's the least rock and roll comedy tour you've ever seen, because Shazia's Muslim, so she doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke, she doesn't... Well... You're shaking your head. No, right? I, I don't know where you're going to go with that. No. She doesn't do much of anything. But, but she well, does. but she certainly doesn't drink. She doesn't smoke. And she doesn't sleep with groupies. No. And she says that the shows don't finish, as you might imagine. A comedy tour does with us all in the bar That's doing it. tequila slammers. It pretty Ooh, much. I've been missing out here somewhere. Yeah. No. <laughs> pretty much ends up on the motorway going, should we have a hot chocolate? Yeah, yeah. go on. She's more likely at the end of the gig not to, to nick, nick the, the tea bag. Nick, nick oh. the flask <laughs> and nick the tea bag. It's, it's true, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> But, and but you had some lovely. nice mm. things to say about mm. her, I think. Oh, she's fantastic. Well, the thing that I like the most, we did the Epsom Playhouse. And there's a guy at the door, the sort of stage door, and he's, I think he's quite an elderly guy. I think he might sort of work there as a retirement hobby. And Shazia came up just as I was finishing my set, and she was about to come on. And, he, and Shazia said, how's Kate doing? And this bloke went, oh, she's warming him up lovely, just like Ken Dodd. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been compared to Ken Absolutely, that will never happen again in my lifetime. So I was like, yes. Oh, oh, so have you ever seen Ken Todd? No, I've never, not live. No, on the telly, of course, but uh, never live. He was, is. Oh, we've got fans. Joe, I have yeah. to tell you, I went to see him with a kind of attitude, and he's absolutely extraordinary. The only difficulty is you can't get him off. <laughs> and uh, we've got to wind up our show talking about uh, um, a stop in for the moment. Uh, do you have two tickets for us, Kate? Well, you see, you're luckier than that because my show's free, so you can all come to my oh! show. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Now, uh, your mum's here, isn't she? Yeah, my mum's here. She's Where's over mum? there. That's I right. met oh. mum. Hello, mum. And mum's been out flyering and all sorts. Oh, I know. Now, that's oh. a mum for you. We are blessed. I tell you me? what, that's a mum, but the mum is so... What's your name, my darling? H. Who? H. H. Yeah, H is short for Heather. She just prefers H, though. Uh, like, okay. Yeah. Like, there's like in steps. Oh, right, well, that's you know. lucky. Uh, H, um, your lovely daughter here actually saw me on the Royal Mile, and we fly it together, didn't we, we did, for today's yeah. show? So not only <laughs> is she a fabulous performer, but I can tell you as well that she's a fabulous flyer, even for somebody <laughs> else's show. So thank you very much. So what a bonus. She's what? She's fabulous at everything. She oh, is fabulous oh. At everything. Oh. That's your mum for <laughs> So, Free, you can all go and see lovely Kate. And that will be at, uh, the venue is the Chiel Roma? Yeah, it's a really lovely Italian restaurant on the South Bridge. They oh, do even really better. posh ice cream if they've won an award for all Scotland's best ice cream. So, and that's yeah, at 8.20. 8.20 every 14 day. 14 and above. And uh, it's one hour. And it's called The News at Kate 2011 with a few bits of topical stuff and everything thrown Absolutely. in as well. Lovely. Would you please put your hands together for the Thank lovely you. Kate face? <laughs> Tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be